Hello, this is Dr. Beth Cudney, and in this video, we're going to talk about problem solving using the 8D or 8 discipline approach. The 8D approach is used to help identify, correct, and eliminate recurring problems. The methodology is very systematic in that it uses eight steps or disciplines to make sure that a team can identify their true root causes. It is a very structured approach to enabling teams to identify the root cause or root causes, which helps the team then to take appropriate corrective action to prevent those problems from reoccurring. The 8D approach is most commonly used by the automotive industry. However, this approach has also been widely used in healthcare, manufacturing, finance, and government, along with multiple other industries. The focus of the 8D approach is on permanent corrective action by using statistical analysis to identify the root cause or root causes. The 8D approach originally consisted of eight steps or disciplines, which is where it got its name. However, the 8D approach was later augmented by adding an initial planning phase, which is referred to as D0, to represent that initial step. That initial step, or D0, is plan. The next step, D1, is to create a team. D2 is defining and describing the problem. The third discipline, or D3, is to contain the problem. D4 is to identify, describe, and verify the root cause or root causes. D5 is to choose appropriate corrective actions. Then D6 is to implement and validate corrective actions. D7 is to take the preventive measures. And then finally, D8 is to congratulate your team. So let's talk about each of those disciplines or steps in a little bit more detail. In the initial step, D0, this is where the quality engineer typically will start planning on how they're going to solve the problem. The quality engineer will gather the data, determine the prerequisites so that they have all of the background information necessary prior to moving forward with the rest of the steps. By understanding the background of the problem, this enables a quality engineer to move into the next step, which is D1, where the team is created. It's important to select and establish the team that have the appropriate product or process knowledge based off of the quality issue at hand. Problem solving should be a team approach. That's how you're going to get the best ideas. You want to have input from everyone. And you want to understand what the problem is and have a good, clear understanding of it. If we have a problem, something that we want to start focusing on is containing it. What I mean here is I want to make sure if I have a problem, I contain it internally so that it doesn't reach the customer. I don't want a defect that reaches the customer. I want to prevent shipping it to the customer. So when I do problem solving, one of the biggest aspects is, is really understanding the root causes. This is probably the hardest thing. It's very easy to band-aid a process or do a quick fix, but if I don't truly go after that root cause and do my root cause analysis, then that problem is going to come back. And the way to prevent it from coming back is whatever I put in place, I need to check that corrective action and make sure it really did work. I want something like a poke yoke, a mistake proofing device to prevent it from happening. And that way that I've got that permanent corrective action so that I can prevent things from going wrong. And when I do that, this is where I celebrate my success as a team. Thank you for watching this video on the 8D problem solving approach. I hope you found it useful for improving the quality of your products and services. Thank you.